There we go. This week on Sportsman TV, the most infamous crappie fisherman on the planet, Mr. Crappie. Come on, baby. There you go. Oh, you done changed baits on me. The biggest reason we wanted to get together with Mr. Crappie, if you're going to do a crappie show, you probably a good guy to have on the show would be Mr. Crappie. I mean, he's the guy who named the fish, <laughs> or vice versa, I'm not sure. But, uh, you know, the cool thing about, you know, my association with Strike King, you know, Sportsman's TV Association with Strike King, we, they're known as a huge maker of bass lures. You know, it's probably what they're known for best. And, uh, I mean, world-renowned, they've hired world-renowned crappie bait builder, Wally Marshall, you know, so. Uh, I appreciate that, Greg. You know, the opportunity to get with him and learn his knowledge. I mean, he's fished basically all over the United States, and he spent a good bit of time in China. I'm not sure why, but uh, I'm not sure that they have crappie there, but he did spend quite a bit of time there. But, but the opportunity to come with him, learn his knowledge, and see his tackle. I mean, all the different colors, shapes, and sizes, and learn why weather dictates, you know, on the crappie, just like bass, just like any other fish. You know, every day is different and have to use a different lure, but that, that was our big reason. And to fish with Mr. Crappie. I mean, I just like to say Mr. Crappie. Mr. Mr. Crappie? Mr. Crappie. He's, I'm here! He's here, Mr. Crappie. <laughs> oh, there's mm -hmm. Big. Mr. Big. Mr. Big. Well, we got him in here. Woo! <laughs> talking crappie time. I think that's a keeper. Hey, do you want to keep some of these? Do you want to? Yeah, we, we, we don't hardly release anything on this show. Doesn't matter what it is. <laughs> so <laughs> we keep definitely everything? we keep everything. Bullfrogs, snakes. Snakes. We keep it all. That's a nice crappie. That's nicer. There. Mm -hmm. Now look here. Not to put any pressure on you, but we've heard all the hype. I mean, you are named. Mr. Crappie, so we expect you to perform today on Sportsman TV. Just oh. saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, just go ahead and put me on the spot, dude. I'm talking about, like, we got to catch them, you know? It says God, not God, okay? <laughs> Remember that. Over here at Bowie Outfitters, hunting and fishing is our passion. We can help you pick all the right gear for your next fishing trip. We spend time in the woods too, so we know what products to recommend when hunting season comes around. We understand the outdoors and what it takes to have success on your hunting and fishing adventures. So come on down to Bowie Outfitters and let us help get you going. Bowie Outfitters, everything outdoors. For camping, fishing, hunting, or anything outdoors, bring along Arctic Ice. Simply freeze these versatile cooler packs and they're ready to keep your food and drinks cold throughout your outing. Arctic Ice can maintain in a cooler 60% longer than the equal weight of regular ice and with no more mess or soggy food. Arctic Ice is clean and easy. Alaskan series can maintain a sub 40 degree cooler for days and the Tundra series can keep game frozen till it gets home. Preserve an Arctic refuge in your cooler. Choose Arctic Ice.
Don't just be a sportsman, look like one too. Men, women, kids, everyone wants to look like a good sport. And now you can find it all in one place without leaving the house. Our popular sportsman brand apparel and accessories are just a click away at forsportsman.com. T-shirts, caps, polarized sunglasses, jewelry, tumblers, and more are available in a variety of sizes and colors. It's easy to show the world that you are a sportsman. Visit forsportsman.com today and get that perfect sportsman item for yourself or as a gift for that sportsman in your life. The excitement builds for the 2015 CCA Star Tournament. This year's star is loaded with new ways to win your share of over one half million in prizes, including tag trout division and more paid places for heaviest trout. Believe it or not, I actually won. Over 108 days of fishing with over 25 inshore and offshore divisions. We have something for everyone. Be the first to catch a tag redfish and win a new Chevy Silverado. Enter now for just $30 by registering at CCAStar.com. Share in the passion and serve our coast. Yes, sir. He swallowed it way down there. I'm gonna cut that off. I'm gonna put that fish in the live where he started bleeding a little bit. Man, that's one of them new strike cream, 16th ounce jig heads that I've got here. But I tie a loop knot, Greg. I just, right here, I'm like, put your middle finger out, make a loop there. It's called a loop knot. Just run it through there a couple of times. And let the back of that loop come up against that eyelet then mash it right there, then pull both strings at the same time. And that lets that jig head throat float free it on It sets the... like that, you know, it's always setting up. And then it's free to where it has a little is I'm just gonna catapult it out there 25 to 30 feet right <laughs> and bring it right over the top of these tops that we're fishing today just let it fall to get down there and then you can just pop it up a little bit and just let it fall back down fluorocarbon or monofilament or this is just monofilament line six pound high vis Ooh. here he is You talking about a sausage head now? Right, right there. Man, you, talking about, you talking? That fish 15 inches long, brother. What happens on the crappie? You know, starting in January, they're out in deep water, and they're going to be chasing threadfin shad and just staying in big wads of schools. And that's the fish on the south end of the lake. The the crappie on the north end of the lake, they're going to move back in the creek and tributaries because the bait fish move up into there. Then as the water starts warming, 55, 56, 57 degrees, the crappie are gonna start moving out into the points and out into the flats, staying near deeper water, because we got fronts moving through every two or three days. Then all of a sudden, when water temperature reaches 59, 60 degrees, those crappie are gonna go to the bank or get as shallow as they can, uh, depending on the clarity of the water, okay? Then after the spawn, the water temperature is about 80 degrees. Those crappie will start moving back out on, on uh, secondary points, vertical structure, trees, timber, brush piles. And that's what we're fishing today is brush piles. And these piles are in about 24, 25 foot of water and they come up to about 10 foot of the surface. So beware, be good with your depth finder and you'll be a better crappie fisher. Okay, what we're doing is we're going out here with the Hummingbird side imaging 
and we're actually finding brush piles. And a lot of guys, when they put out their brush piles, it's gonna be close to a ledge, it's gonna be on a point. So it kind of gives you an area to start looking. What you're seeing here on the screen is actually side imaging, okay? And it shows that I'm shooting 100 foot to each side of the boat. And you can actually, I'm gonna show you something here in just a second. Okay, look right here. See this right here? See what's coming up? See how that brush is up off the bottom? It's throwing a shadow, a cast. And what I can do is I can freeze frame it right there. Then I'm gonna run my cursor over to the brush, move it up, and then I'm gonna mark it. Then I'm gonna push exit twice and it starts rolling again. So that brush pile right there is a huge brush pile because I can see and I can actually stop that frame again and see the fish on the brush pile. Fish show up as a white speck on this side imaging. So when I go from side imaging and I wanna go back to that spot, I just hit menu, I hit my exit, get it going back, and I've got some buttons over here that I can mash that goes back to the right screen to where I mark that spot and I can go right back to it. And see what I do is I change screens to where I can actually zoom in to the spot. And see right here, we're coming up on it. And what I wanna do is get to this spot right here. We got two piles that I marked while we were on side imaging and I can go right over them. See right now, we're starting to go over it and there's the brush. We just went right over the mark, there's the brush. Hey, I'm telling you, it makes it easy. Anybody can do it, right? Bowie Outfitters is your one-stop shop for all types of outdoor cooking. Tailgating? We've got Bayou Classic Barbecue Pits and King Cooker Jambalaya Pots. If frying's your favorite, check out r &B Works Cajun Fryers and Cajun Injector Products to keep meat moist and flavorful. Black iron skillets are key in a southern kitchen, and Bowie carries a big selection of lodge cast iron, plus Bayou Classic Pots for your next crawfish boil. Come to Bowie Outfitters and let us get you cooking. Bowie Outfitters, everything outdoors. The excitement builds for the 2015 CCA Star Tournament. This year's star is loaded with new ways to win your share of over one half million in prizes, including Tag Trout Division and more paid places for heaviest trout. Believe it or not, I actually won. Over 108 days of fishing with over 25 inshore and offshore divisions. We have something for everyone. Be the first to catch a tag redfish and win a new Chevy Silverado. Enter now for just $30 by registering at CCAStar.com. Share in the passion and serve our coast. LouisianaSportsman.com is the South's premier hunting and fishing website. Planning a hunting or fishing trip? Visit LouisianaSportsman.com and get up-to-the-date information on weather, tides, or solar no data. Our breaking news and continually updating forum will keep you up to date. Or visit our report section and ask the locals what's been biting and where. Need to sell or buy an outdoor item? LouisianaSportsman.com's free classifieds are the quickest way for you to reach the outdoor market. LouisianaSportsman.com, the quick way to get the most of the outdoors. Hi, I'm Greg Hackney, 2014 Bassmaster Elite Series Angler of the Year. You know, fishing both tournament trails, both BASS and FLW, is really hard on your equipment. The one thing that I depend on to do all my heavy lifting with is my TNH Marine Atlas Jack Plate. Atlas Jack Plates come pre-drilled for shallow water anchor attachment. They also come in six different offsets, one that fits everyone's needs. You know, for me, the biggest thing about Atlas Jack Plates, they make it a lot easier for me to make a living. TNH Marine has been the choice of champions since 19. Come on, baby. Ooh, that is a monster. Hey, please, please, please get to me. Please, 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 that's a big one. Yes, yeah, the wrong oh, brand. Wrong there, trigger stick. 
What happened? Oh! <laughs> he got to eat right before he got to the top. Oh! <laughs> My feelings are hurt. And he's one-eyed. One-eyed sniper jack. Or whatever you call these. <laughs> oh my goodness. What happened? I don't man. know. <laughs> I thought we were doing a crappie show, man. Look at this. And he's one-eyed. That's a one-eyed jack right there. That was a non-target species. It's either white bass or a hybrid. It's long and skinny. It... Do y'all have hybrids in this lake? Well, he sure was a, was a poor one. Poor example of the species. Fish on. What you got, dude? Huh? Let me get the net. Oh, look at him spitting up bait. Oh, yeah. When you bring him out of that deep water. How about that? There you go, dude. Slab of rooski. The water will hold more oxygen if it's a little cooler. So by adding this Arctic ice pack in there, we just dropping the water temperature down a little bit to keep those fish, you know, keep them alive. Now you see them in there floating like that. The deal is with that, they're coming from so deep, they've got the bends. You know, their air bladder's expanded. That's the reason they're floating, but you can keep them alive a lot better by just adding a little ice. And we like Arctic ice because we can reuse it over and over again. Hold on, I just, great, dude. No, nah, not this time you got to net him yourself. Oh. I'm gonna drop back in the spot. It come off. I don't think it was a keeper. You wouldn't get the net, no, dude. I sure won't. I see how this deal's gonna work. It work <laughs> out I told you, I know them crappie hands. I done been into this before. Oh my goodness. He yeah. wouldn't get the net. That's right. Hold on, man. Hold on. Oh, it's a bass. It's oh. a bass. I can't catch huh? anything but bass. What are you doing, man? You're running my crappie hole. I'm a bass fisherman. What can I say? Oh, spotted bass. Hey, look, and it's a spotted bass. It's not even a largemouth. Oh. A little spotted bass. Let's mm. move some rods out of love these things. <laughs> uh, well, you know, a spotted bass is just another, uh, it, it is not, a largemouth is Microptus, Microptomus solomoid. <laughs> this is just another species of bass, you know, they're smallmouth, spots, they're all kind of subspecies, there are a couple subspecies of these. You know, they typically don't grow as big as largemouth, um, but far as table fare, rank second maybe only to the crappie. I mean, they are really uh, good eating and uh, you know, the lake we're fishing on, they have no link limit. You can tell the way the lines are on the side, the lateral line, you can see how they look like they're kind of spotted. You know, another deal is typically most spotted bass have a tongue patch, have, a, you know, teeth on their tongue where a largemouth doesn't. Uh, you know, occasionally, and, and then by how the, actually by how their jawline extends on their eye. Um, but you can tell they're a different looking fish from a largemouth, you know, they are spotted. You know, they have a little more spot to them. You can see how on their lateral line, they like, they're, instead of just being a solid line, it's like it's got spots down it. Pretty fish, they, they exist, you know, pretty much every state that has bass has spotted bass. They're all over the, the country. Uh, they live in all of our rivers. You know, a lot of our natural bayous have them. Uh, there's actually a pretty large population of spotted bass in the basin. Fish on. What you got, dude? Huh? <laughs> that big old white just crushed it, man. <coughs> Look right in his mouth. He sucked that shad pole way down in there. You know, we're fishing 30 foot deep. It used, used to that little bitty bait and that light line, you know. I'm sure I've had some bites I didn't know that, you know, when I got a bite. Just because the ones that I did have a hold of, I couldn't feel it. All of a sudden, you know, I just picked up and they were there. Come out of there, boy. You need a net? Probably a large mouth, because he just sold up on it. Oh, I jigged him. Hey, I was jigging in that brush, and I guess that crappie just struck at it, and it caught him right in the side. Well, I mean, just, I mean, just stuck him good. Hey, Greg, in tournaments. breathe on it, and you catch him. Well, I'm just saying, these, I tell you what, these hooks and these Strike King jig heads, they're sharp, dude. But is this a legal fish? Not always, no. It's not a legal fish? No. 
No. In any illegal fit in certain states, it wouldn't even be a legal crappie for you to put in a box. Is that certain right? Certain states have a law; fish have to be caught inside the mouth. And the reason for that 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 law is around certain species, uh -huh. like states that have salmon. They don't want people snagging them. Right. So they just they couldn't say, well, you can't snag a salmon, but you can snag. Well, a crappie. I just so know they, that this crappie was going for it and just missed it. Yeah, I know, but that don't work. And but <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey, let me tell you what. I don't care. I caught the fish, he going in the live well. Yeah, now that's my opinion too, but I'm just, not the whole world doesn't see things that way. What you got? Hopefully it's a big old slab. I think it is, I don't think it's a bass. No, it's a Woo, crappy fish. Nice. What I'm talking about, Thank get you, him, sir. baby. Hey, on these piles, like on an overcast day like today, the bigger fish will be on top of the pile. I guarantee it. And those little fish, they get out around it, swim around the edges, but those big fish are right on the top of them piles. It's just like a vertical column. Those crappie like to get, they, they go up and down on these piles. When it gets bright sunlight, they'll get on the back side of that pile in that shade. The number one structure for crappie is shade. <clears throat> Daddy's got you. Oh! Oh, good bass. Good bass. <laughs> what? He what? just saw the sunlight. Oh! Where did that thing come from? Man, I thought you had a slab. I did. It's a bass. <laughs> oh. Man, you take, take, I take like him on that light line. You can't take the country out of the boy. But How about that? Bass, bass, bass. <sighs> Oh, what's that? Oh, uh, I don't know if he'll keep or not, Jerry. He's a large one. No, you can't keep him. Can't keep him. Can't keep him. He's too small. I'm Stephen Parks, and I'd like to introduce you to Blue Wave Boats. It's been founded and owned by the Parks family since 1992. We specialize in building custom, high-performance, quality, fishing boats. So there is no more having to settle. Each Blue Wave boat ranks high in every category that matters, from the speed, the quality, the performance, and the features built into the boat. And we've loaded these boats with everything you're gonna need to make your day on the water a success every time. Louisiana Sportsman Magazine. For over 31 years, your source for fishing and hunting information. Each month you will find stories by local experts on everything from bass to redfish to ducks, deer to trout and turkey. We've got incredible local information that you can use immediately to get more success outdoors. You'll also enjoy monthly columns on cooking, the latest lures, GPS locations, shooting, kayaks, and much more. Have Louisiana Sportsman delivered to your house and safe. $24.99 gets you a full year of Louisiana Sportsman. To order today, visit louisianasportsman.com. Man, what a year. What a year. Life changing. All the way from my home in Louisiana to the Great Lakes up north in Michigan. I did it. You know, I didn't do it by myself. It takes a team, man. It's all about the team. Nobody gets there alone. Nope. Man, thank you, Striking. Over here at Bowie Outfitters, hunting and fishing is our passion. We can help you pick all the right gear for your next fishing trip. We spend time in the woods too, so we know what products to recommend when hunting season comes around. We understand the outdoors and what it takes to have success on your hunting and fishing adventures. So come on down to Bowie Outfitters and let us help get you going. Bowie Outfitters, everything outdoors. Well, I'm actually letting it go down straight, and then I'm just popping it up. Well, I tried to pop it up, but that crappie got on there. Woo! Slab! We talking Tejas. Mmm. Bring him out, bring him out, bring him out. Bring him out, there you go. Come on, bring him in here. Twins, there we go. <laughs> I like it, man. You know, it's just, you know, catching crappie on the shad poles. 
and we're fishing about 18 to 24 foot deep and catching these crappie. Uh, on these brush paws, it's unbelievable. It's crappie time. Shad poles, Strike King, and Mr. Crappie. You can't go wrong. So just, just keep it. Oh, he's on there. He's I see him right. pulling. He's hung around the limb. Give him a little slack, let him swim. And he's pulling. Oh, 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 you, oh, you come loose then. Yeah, he ain't, I don't think it's a crappie. No, I think that's a big old catfish, brother. Come on, buddy. Come out of there. I think it's we got a big good. old catfish. Look at that, look at that rod. Just ten pounder. That's one of them. <laughs> That's why I'm showing us. I, I, oh, there he is. Oh, oh, it's a big bass eating my crappie. Oh. See, that's what I come down here for. Come in here. <laughs> come in here. I got the net. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> come to the hack attack. Crappie <laughs> in his mouth. <laughs> he was hung on a limb. Get him in the net. I can't. Woo! <laughs> That's what I've come here for. Hey, stinking crappy man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. This, hey, folks, this ain't no lie. He's hung, the crappie <laughs> had him under a limb. And he, so he's, he goes, the fish is on there. And so he had him on the limb going back and forth. Then all of a sudden, whoom, and the bass inhaled the crappie. <laughs> well, I'm just going to tell you, them bass will occasionally show up when they need to. That is, huh? uh, hey. <laughs> they, they own them. Mm. Oh, you <laughs> lost this my crappie, man. <laughs> you lost my bait and my crappie. I couldn't, that stinking I couldn't, bass. Hey, I couldn't, I couldn't hold him. <laughs> I couldn't get him. He was too slick, so I just bit him and pulled him out, and then he flopped in the, dude, I'm sorry. That was my first crappie. I ain't worried about that hey, stinking much, bass. Oh my God. Look at that. Huh? Mm. You got to love these things, though. <laughs> I mean, the crappie are great and all, but these are not bad either. When you get an opportunity to fish with a guy that's named after a fish, you probably ought to take him up on that. Join us here next time on Sportsman TV.